Hey there, it's Jaskier, and I'm excited to share a gripping tale with you that will truly challenge your perceptions. Imagine this. A man named Sam, who's been through the ringer, guides us through a harrowing journey from a harsh prison to a showdown with Lucifer in the depths of hell. Stick around as we uncover Sam's brush with death, his chilly encounter with the devil, and the jaw-dropping twist that awaits. If you're intrigued by the supernatural and the blurred line between good and evil, hit that subscribe button and join the discussion. So buckle up and get ready for an exhilarating adventure. Greetings, everyone. We're here to bring you first-hand accounts from individuals who've teetered on the brink of death. If you're drawn to these stories, show your support with a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. It costs nothing and helps us expand our community. To our returning viewers, welcome back. Hence up, today's narrative delves into the world of prisons. So prepare yourself. Get cozy, grab your favorite beverage, and let's delve into the tale. Hey Jaskier, what's happening? Thought I'd switch up the name from Heaven Awaits. Hope that's cool. Gotta share my death story, but it's not a pleasant one. Fair warning. Back in 93, accidentally caused the death of my best friend while messing around with my dad's weapons. Ended up charged with manslaughter and got slapped with a 12-year prison sentence. But hey, I've changed since then. In 94, I landed in Indian Creek Correctional. The place was divided along racial lines with strict rules against mingling. Talking to someone from a different race was a big no-no, strictly enforced by the Aryan Brotherhood, AB. I broke the rule, faced the AB boss, managed to avoid punishment, but got a first-hand look at the racial divide. I don't agree with it, but I thanked him and went back to my cell. From then on, I knew I was marked, spent eight years steering clear of gang activities, witnessed plenty of fights and racial tensions, just wanted to serve my time and get out. Come December 2002, during kitchen duty, I had to interact with people from other races. Someone snitched, claiming I was too friendly, and trouble followed. Got summoned to a cell, got punched, and woke up in the infirmary beaten up. Offered to help with dishes, got labeled a race traitor. My skin color made me a target, endured attacks and isolation. Last four years were brutal, faced beatings almost every month, especially during commissary time. Eventually, stopped receiving money, and people left me alone. In my final year, I snapped, stabbed the AB leader with a makeshift weapon, not fatally, but it put a stop to the attacks. Lived in constant fear, avoiding everyone. Five months before release, the AB leader retaliated, slashed me deep across my stomach, left me defenseless. Collapsed to the ground, and that was it. Looked down at my body while the guards put everyone on lockdown. Blood pooling around me. When people talk about feeling disconnected seeing their bodies, it's true. No connection whatsoever. Watched as the guards and nurse worked on me. Suddenly felt this intense pulling sensation downward. As I got pulled downward, all these terrifying sounds hit me. Screaming, moaning, gnawing, and chewing. The pole turned into a fall, and suddenly, I'm standing on some rocky surface, surrounded by fire. The heat was unbearable, making it hard to breathe. I mumbled a feeble hello, and strangely, the screaming stopped. Then comes the evil laughter. A voice, nobody, says, Welcome home, Sam. I'm like, who's there? Show yourself. The figure that appears looks human but reddish, emanating pure evil. No hint of redemption. I ask, who are you? And it replies, humans call me lots of things. I like Lucifer. I'm freaking out, thinking it has to be a dream. I'm a good person. I shout at the devil dude. He's like, good person. Let's see. And just like that, he's showing me all the messed up stuff I've done. Killing my best friend, feeling almost no remorse. He delves into the prison experiences I'm ashamed of. Reveals thoughts I didn't even know I had when I caused my friend's death. Lucifer's grinning, saying, still think you're a good person. He knows he's got me. I'm like, oh God, Jesus, no, what have I done? Mention those names, and Lucifer's losing it, screaming not to say them. I look up, begging God to save me, begging for forgiveness, feeling a tug in the opposite direction while Lucifer hisses that I belong with him. I don't know how long I was pulled upward, but when I arrived, my deceased friend Dane was waiting. 
Sorry, Danny. So sorry, I said. He smiled as if he knew and forgave. Then he looked at me, and I heard in my head that it was time to go home. I pleaded, No, I don't want to go back to hell. Please don't send me back. Danny's words echoed, reassuring me, You're not going there. God heard you, forgave you, and I forgave you. But you've got to finish your time on earth. It's not over yet. I apologized once more, and suddenly, I felt like I was falling, launched out of a machine, right back into my body. It was a hard impact, and I gasped in pain. The nurse freaked out, screamed, and passed out. The doctor who treated me couldn't believe I survived with so much blood loss. Later, I found out the cutting tool wasn't from inside the prison, hinting at a corrupt guard. No one could figure out who it was, though I have my suspicions. Spent the rest of my time in the infirmary recovering. If you doubt this story, I'm willing to share pictures of the scar on my stomach. Just want to say, if you still believe in God, even in the darkest places, asking for forgiveness can make a difference. Souls trapped in hell either forget about God or refuse to swallow their pride and seek help. I found my way back, reborn. Every day I carry the shame, but every day I heal a little more. I still watch my back wherever I go. Once you're on the A-B's bad side, it sticks for life. Maybe nothing will happen, but I remain vigilant. That's all for today. What are your thoughts on the time spent in hell? Was it salvation or a trick by Lucifer? Share your thoughts. Until next time, stay safe and blessed.